Hi guys, James Buckley here. I just wanted to shoot a quick video on maybe some of these problems that you also been getting and just to answer some issues that, and concerns about Facebook notifications. Now if you got in your inbox here, just let me show you right quick. Right here is a Facebook uh, message that was sent to me on Melanie not all she she answered back to a comment that somebody asked her did she miss her hair I I went into my friends photos she had just put in and I looked at some of her pictures and I even made a comment on one of her pictures and right here somebody made a comment about her hair and she, and they asked her did she miss her hair and she says not at all I cut it off when my son was born seven years ago and see that's that's not a really a notification that I want to get. So right here it was where it's at. Uh, this Lewis here, do you miss your hair? Right here, she asked that question, and now I get a um, email about it. I don't really want that. So what happens if you go to the account drop down box and you hit account settings? And it'll bring you right back to this page that I was just on. But I'm going to refresh this page because I've been worked on it once already. To my icons across here that you can click on from your ads to your payments to your language to your mobile phone. But you want to go to or networks or settings. And you want to go to notifications. And once you get to notifications, this is going to share with you all the notifications that's sent to you in your email account now here's the deal you don't want all them emails coming into your inbox because it does clutter your inbox up with a bunch of emails especially if you're doing a lot of Facebook marketing in groups and pages and leaving your links and your information that you sharing the type of value that you are offering to help people solve a problem or address some need that they may have. If you're doing that, then you understand exactly where I'm coming from when you get an inbox full of notifications on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, if you go to this right here, it says to control which notifications you receive from Facebook and applications, use the check boxes below. Scroll to the bottom of the page and save your changes. So you have settings all down through here that you have settings on, and you can individually check those settings individually, or you can scroll right down here and, like, say groups right here on groups. I, if somebody add me to a group, I keep this checked. I want a notification. If someone asks to, to join a group that I admin, I want a notification. If someone approves my request to join a group, I want a notification. But if you go on down here, here's one right here that I unchecked. Comments after comments after you in a photo. Now this is one I was just talking about a while ago. So I unchecked that one because after I made a comment on the particular comment right here on Melanie's photo, it sent me an email after this lady had commented on her photo. So I don't really want that. So I unchecked that box right there. Comments after you in a photo. I unchecked that box. Same thing with the notes. Comments on your notes or comments after you. I left comment. If somebody comment on my notes, I want an email. But if somebody comments after I note, I don't really want an email on somebody else comment after I did. So I, you may want that if you think that they're commenting, if you left some kind of a valuable piece of information on a post or a comment that you think somebody may respond to, then you might want to leave that. But that's just some of the things you want to look at and you want to change all the way down through here. If somebody comments on, on a video of you, you want to email. Comments on your videos, you want to email tags one of your videos or tags you in a video or comments after you in a video 
I don't like the comments after me because that could go on and on and on. As long as somebody comments after you, uh, three months, six months, etc., down the road, you get those emails. So, just want to shoot a quick video. Some people get those information. It's very simple thing to do, but some people get this information in their inbox and they wonder why am I getting all these emails about this stuff? Then this is how you change that. You go to my account drop down menu here you hit account settings it'll bring you to this page my account once you get to my account you click on notifications you make all the necessary changes you need to make you go down to the bottom of the page you hit save changes and once you hit save changes it'll load up and it said changes have been saved once that happens, you turn off all those notifications and minimize your email notifications and help you to control your email inbox. So this is James Buckley, guys. I just want to shoot this quick video here to let you see how you can change some of those a lot of unwanted emails that, that Facebook sends you. This is the page you go to to do that. So if you want more tips on Facebook marketing and Facebook I'm updating them as I learn them. I'm making videos on them and I'm posting them on my blog. You can visit my blog at jamesabuckley.com and you can get, there you go, your changes have been saved. You can visit my blog at jamesabuckley.com under the tab Facebook Marketing or Facebook Tips and you can find information that will help you build your business in that perspective. Have an awesome day, guys.